in, in my seven years working in Pakistan, which was only supposed to be a couple weeks, which then became a couple months, which then became, you know, a year, which became now the last seven years. You know, there's been so many disasters there. In that time that I've worked in Pakistan, I've, uh, I've seen a sign of Pakistan that is rarely presented, if ever. My name is Todd Shea. I'm the executive director and founder of Comprehensive Disaster Response Services. When a disaster happens, then of course there's a, an acute phase, an emergency phase, where you have to work directly in the field. And uh, when I'm there, I spend most of my time uh, getting supplies together, uh, managing the travel schedules of incoming and outgoing doctor teams, physicians, making sure that they have generator fuel, making sure that they have, you know, their bathrooms and their camping supplies and tents and food. And after the emergency and after we have taken care of those emergency needs and we get into the rehabilitation phase, then it becomes more administrative, making sure that uh, uh, you have, um, you know, all of the right staff in place to do long-term projects. In our case, we help, uh, after disasters, we help uh, villages and health systems in rural areas affected by disaster, we help them to reestablish their healthcare system that was destroyed or damaged by either an earthquake or flood or some kind of event. It's growing, you know, the, the population is growing day by day. And uh, so whatever I can do in treating 100,000 patients per year at my clinics in these disaster affected areas is just a drop in the bucket. But every drop counts and every drop matters. And so we, we have to measure our success on uh, uh, not against the backdrop of what is needed because then we would just rip our hair out in frustration. We have to look at each individual person we can help. We've worked with them in the disasters. We've coordinated with them in the floods and in the SWAT crisis when the Pakistan army and the Taliban were fighting in SWAT. The Pakistan army was clearing the, the militants out of the valley and a lot of people had to uh, be displaced from their homes. And, and live in neighboring districts uh, for a couple months. We were able to work uh, with him and his son, uh, who uh, was managing their fleet of ambulances up in Northern District, Mordan, where, near where all the people were fleeing SWAT and coming down. And we were providing medical services at a small hospital called UM Trust Hospital in Zaidabad, which is just below the border with Swat and Bonir and District Mardan and all the people that were escaping were coming through that area, so the hospital was just overwhelmed with patients.